let's be real clear here. I think Ronald Acuna Jr. is the NL MVP if the season ended today, but everyone that's shouting the phrase Mookie Betts over and over again is not necessarily wrong. Let's be real clear. Mookie Betts just had arguably the greatest month in the history of Major League Baseball, and that is something to say in today's modern times when we got guys like Otani doing what he's done this season and the last three seasons and a guy like Acuna Jr. who's doing what he's doing. By the way, I did not hear anybody making these arguments about the bases being shorter and all this until this week. I'm going to put this very clearly and very simply for you. If you make that argument, it means you're old and or stupid. I cannot stress this enough. All your favorite players that you grew up loving probably could not survive the pitching that is taking place in Major League Baseball right now. I will once again go to my old attache that I say all the time. Remember that god-awful movie starring Dennis Quaid, the rookie? Darling, they, they clocked me at nine to seven miles per hour. Is that hard? Well, honey, you know how many people can throw nine to seven miles per hour in the major leagues? You can count them on one hand. That was in the year 2000. It's 2023. There's not a single guy in Major League Baseball who throws under 98 miles per hour plus, unless you're Rich Hill, which, by the way, Rich Hill, old. So I'm just saying, listen, if you have that argument, you are so much dating yourself. You're one of those guys like, oh, yeah, well, he couldn't have handled the old Hoss Radburn days. Yes, he could have. Are you insane? People threw 75 miles per hour back when you loved this baseball game. This is a different type of athlete, a different type of game we're talking about here. Anyone that says anything about the new rules making differences like that, honest to God, shut up. You are wasting my time, and I hate the fact that you're putting unwanted information in my ear holes. Uh, I just want to tell you all, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Decker is, uh, I believe the kids say, on one today, and I am very very excited about it for one at this point i just want to go to reddit find terrible uh, baseball takes read them to cody and let's see if we can get that blood pressure uh skyrocketing because i think the answer is a solid maybe uh you know it's funny i i had uh somebody call my show on thursday because i was talking about ronald acuna jr and the possibility that he could join the 3060 club and he did On a grand slam against the Dodgers in their house, which was a moment in baseball, my dudes and dudettes. Uh, And I had a guy call the show and go, Rob, the only reason he's able to do this is because of the fact that the bases are larger and the pitch clock and the, the, the fact that pitchers can only go to the base twice. And I said, that is really interesting. Quick question. Who else in baseball this year? Because every player in Major League Baseball is now under those rules. Who else this year is doing anything close to that right now? You got guys that are mashing like Olsen and Otani and hell Mookie Betts. And then you got Mm -hmm. a couple of guys who are stealing at a rate similar to Ronnie. But who else is doing both? And the answer is pretty much nobody. Not only did they not trade Shohei Otani. They brought in a couple of decent players. Nobody that necessarily did Cody Decker and I go, oh, now the Angels are dangerous, but a couple of decent players that could help out a little bit here and there. It's not like they had that blockbuster run that we were all going for. And then Shohei pops a UCL. Mike Trout comes off of the injury list for, I believe, 13 minutes before he goes right back onto it. And you got nothing. And not only do you have nothing to show, but instead of deck, potentially, maybe off of the back of one player, having the most stacked farm system in Major League Baseball, you're going to watch Shohei Otani go bye-bye in free agency this offseason. You're going to watch the guys you added in the trade deadline run up go goodbye in this offseason. And when the Angels take to the bump next year, they're going to have Mike Trout and a fistful of regret and nothing else to show for it, dudes. Before we get to the AL West, Rob Brown, can you explain to me what in the living hell the Guardians are doing? The Guardians trade away Savali, they trade away Bell, and they give up at the trade deadline while they're only one game behind the dismal Minnesota Twins in arguably the worst division of Major League Baseball, and that would be the AL Central. They are now five games behind the Wild, uh, that first place spot. And all of a sudden, decide, you know what? Now's the time to add. And they get Giolito and Grichik and more from the Angels. Question for you, Rob Brown. Why? Answer for you, Cody Decker. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm looking. I was trying to figure it out. You're 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 nowhere near a wild card spot. Your only hope nope. is to win that division, a division that you are five games back in. You bring. I mean, I. I if you're gonna make a division run now, why did you sell at the deadline, right? Like, if you, I, I guess I, I, I understand that sometimes your plans have to shift mid-season. Things don't play out the way that you expected them to. But you were a game off the division at the debt. You were a game one, uno, one, one. Just, ooh, just the, just the one, and you decided we're gonna sell. We're gonna move on from a couple of guys. And then I turn around, you're now five games off the pace. You go grab some guys. Hey, and don't get me wrong. I mean, you, you, you put in a waiver claim. You had a real good chance at grabbing those cats because nobody below 65 wins in any division was going to make a play to get better right now. What would be the point? Mm -hmm. I, I have no answer. I mean, look, hey, maybe it works. Maybe with a little influx of talent, maybe they run down Minnesota, and maybe at the end of the year, the Cleveland Guardians win the division and go to the playoffs. Will it matter? No, they're going to get toasted by whoever they play in the opening round of the AL playoffs. But maybe they win a division, and maybe they put a little something together. Maybe. But again, and, I mean, why now? Why play for a maybe now? have been a really really good organization down the stretch and i think we're kind of getting to the point where with baltimore what has been my big concern all year as pressure mounts young guys start to feel it more than vets young guys start to feel the impact of of all the different variables that go into playoff seating and, and home and away and all that and i kind of look at an o's team that's still winning more than they're losing but it almost feels like as the moment grows, maybe these young players, these said moles, these Adley Rushmans, et cetera, are kind of, I don't want to say shrinking in the moment, but maybe not able to stand and deliver the way guys that have played with the Rays organization for a few years now and have been in this spot repeatedly know how to answer that bell. So I think there's a more than good chance that Tampa kills, could still end up winning this division and sending the Orioles down to a wild card spot. Is that what I yeah. just heard? Yes, yes you, you did. did. <laughs> yes, you did. I will Mario. be there to hold your hand, Mario. I will be there Mario. to hold your hand. We will get a tattoo if you, you agree to do a full-on dangling belly button ring as your punishment. Does that hurt? You'll be fine. It'll hurt less. I bet you. I bet you a dollar to a donut. It doesn't hurt as much as the Brazilian wax does. Oh, the Brazilian wax. You know, like so funny, Rob. So funny. Oh my god. It's very funny. <laughs> so funny. You're Rob already getting Brazilian smooth. wax. For the record, Gosh. I did think it was pretty funny. I really did. I thought it was yeah. hilarious. Come on, dude. So say funny. Yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. A belly Get 60 seconds. Ring? Belly button ring. Versus the tattoo. Versus the tattoo. We will get tattoos if you win the parlay. You have to get a belly button ring if we win the parlay. Come on, dude. Fine. fine yes! Fine, fine. Lock it in! Lock it in! Come on. Come on, Austin Riley. Come on, Mookie Betts. Come on, baby! This is some real deal stuff, baby. I've been waiting for this all year long. You are going to have a dangling tattoo.